Hello everyone and welcome back to a relaxing long play adventure in our better Minecraft world. We recently went and explored the end dimension and all that it has to offer and we came out with a bunch of shulker boxes full of exciting new things from all of our different biomes and we've got different armor, we've got different end items, we've got seeds, we've even got some more armor and some goodies but we also have a ton of other goodies. We've got these avoid dying totems, which I mean, I mean, not dying in the end is uh, very appropriate for today's episode. But we have lots of goodies, and I even was able to get an ender chest, raiding some of the cities with even more shulker boxes and little goodies. So we've got lots of things to unpack in our storage room, but for today, we are going to be very interested in the totem of void undyings because today I want to go back into the end, bridge out into the void, and build ourselves an enderman xp farm so that we have an easier way to get our levels back because we were able to get a ton of diamonds on our adventures as well as well as some armor templates but we do have the ability to get full new diamond armor and we need to enchant some of this. But you know, my uh, as great as it is to have our zombie XP farm, it doesn't give us as much XP as uh, I would hope it would. So we're gonna collect up a bunch of resources and it's mainly gonna be Sakura. So we're just going to pick up all of our boxes that we have and I'm gonna deal with all of the kind of, uh, you know, organizing, putting things away when we're back because I have so many shulker boxes that this could literally just be an entire thing all of its own. So we're just gonna make sure we are picking this up with silk touch and then we're just gonna move our shulker boxes into the storage room and start collecting up a bunch of mainly sakura and calcite because we're gonna make our little uh enderman xp farm very similar in color palette to what we have all around our area and it'll be great so i'm, I'm very excited for this but i do want to make sure that we do take a little snooze here and for now we'll put the diamonds back in my inventory but i'm very excited to make an enderman xp farm today i've only made one other enderman xp farm in my 120 let's play series and we made it out of cherry wood and bamboo wood we use lots of the cherry leaves to make all of the spore blossom particles and cherry blossom particles we have all the vibes but for today we're gonna just collect sakura wood now i can just get rid of all of these things into our inventory here and then we'll just deal with it a little bit later i should probably bring that pumpkin actually let's uh let's grab that jack-o-lantern back if I do a pumpkin, I need a carved pumpkin. There we go. Because we need to put this back on our heads for when we go into the end. But for now, I think, can I just like put these shulker boxes in here? And then if I just type in shulker boxes, yeah, we're going to get all of them. So that works perfectly. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to end up putting all of these little guys in here. I do want to keep the totems of void undying on me uh just in case you know we never we never like to think we're gonna die in the void but it is a, it is a possibility so not something we enjoy but let's just grab all of these things out of here that i won't need the still falling and strength we'll just put a lot of these things away for now i don't know how i got so much cooked rabbit but i i've got it now <laughs> it's kind of funny um but we'll just put all of these things away just so that we have more space in our backpack for all of our adventuring. Now in our end chest, I also want to make more space in here. And these are just empty shulker boxes. So we're going to keep these in our inventory and bring these with us. I don't think I'll need a whole lot of them. And we do have this uh, end book that we also acquired just by going into the end, which is kind of cool. Except the weird thing is I can't open it. Like I'm, I'm right clicking, I'm left clicking and I'm right clicking. So if anyone knows why I can't open books, let me know. I don't know if I'm maybe missing some sort of a mod. I don't know, it just seems kind of strange to me. But all of these ones give us our different shells and things. So we'll just take these and put them away. 
all the ones that have stuff in them, I think I'm gonna put in here for now. And get rid of these guys, the end rods, all of these, there we go. These ones have nothing in them. So these are all of our little goodies we'll take with us. And then let's grab the socket of wood that we have. So we'll grab all of that, all of that. We'll grab, we'll grab all of our stairs and our slabs. We're also gonna grab a bunch of these saplings because we're going to be, uh, well, we're gonna have a lot of Sakura to need to collect because we need about, I would say, uh, like 18 stacks of just the Sakura planks like this. So we need 18 plus like two and a half stacks. We need a lot of Sakura wood. So I'm very glad we have all of our little end chests or well, this is an end chest, shulker boxes. We're gonna make sure we got those on hand for sure. And as far as what's in here, the eyes of Ender and the saddle will keep in here just in case. But the bone blocks we'll, we'll need in our inventory. I'll leave some of these shulker boxes. Oh, I can't put them in our backpack. Interesting, that's good to know. That's very good to know. But these can go in our backpack for now. And then we're going to have the bone blocks. We're gonna collect a bunch of these. We will need a bunch of leaves. So we don't have a lot of those. So if I just go to leaves, yeah, we don't even have like normal leaves. So if I just type in like oak, we don't have any oak leaves. So we're gonna have to collect a bunch of just regular old leaves because leaves are the one thing that Enderman can't spawn onto. We could use glass, but I don't think I want to use that. Now, we could use carpet. We also need some redstone. We don't need a lot though, so we'll just grab a tiny bit of redstone. We're also going to need some observers, which I don't think I have. And what about dispensers? No dispensers. Okay, so we've got some things to make with redstone. We do have access to name tags, which we will need to name tag a little friend, a little endermite friend. So we're going to take our little name tag here, and then let's put, let's get a, a different colored shulker box for all of the extras. So we'll just kind of put this here, redstone and the name tag. We do need lots of ender pearls which I don't have in my backpack, which means they're probably somewhere random in a box. But if I just do, okay, we've got 11 ender pearls. We'll see if I have ender pearls. We have these shards and I don't know what the uh, ender shards can do. I'm not exactly sure what they do. Interesting. They don't really like click on anything. If I click on this. Interesting. Okay. Well, that is um, curious. I don't know what we do with these. But, you know, that's, that's fine. <laughs> but we'll put those in here as well. It's saying that we need a lot of ender pearls because we need to be able to keep on kind of using an ender pearl into the ground until an endermite spawns. So that's one thing we need to have. We also need a minecart. I don't think we have a minecart. I like how allers are gonna say Minecraft, so I, I guess that wouldn't have worked, but do we have rails? Oops. We're gonna collect some rails. Any rails? Okay, so we need just one rail. Now we need a water bucket, which we've got sugar water. Let's just do bucket. We're collecting up all of our extras. So we've got a bucket, we've got a name tag, we need a chain. So we'll grab a chain. We need some trapdoors, trapdoors. So we'll take some of the Sakura runs with us because we'll be building out of those mainly. So we're getting all of our things collected up. Now we're also gonna need hoppers. So we're gonna type in hoppers. All right, no hoppers, what about chests? We can make plenty of hoppers. So now we'll just grab our iron, all the iron that we'll ever need. Iron sword, well, let's type in ingots. Ingot, there we go. I like how this 
has oh it's ingots and crystals that's why i was like why are you showing up all of these are showing up when they shouldn't be and then we also need some slabs so we did collect some of our sakura slabs we will need more than this but that that won't be too easy to you know collect up so we needed 31 we have definitely more slabs than we needed which is totally okay and then they use dirt as kind of just like a pillaring block so we're going to grab a stack of that just to make things a little easier and i'm actually going to put all of the extras on this side of things so we'll go like so so we've got these are extras so uh, we need two stacks of leaves we need some carpet which i'm just gonna use slabs instead we need to make hoppers so let's quickly go over to our iron farm we're gonna collect up all of our iron to make enough hoppers for this little journey we need about mm, did i put any iron up here i'm just curious I think I just put poppies. Yes, just the poppies, which is fine. Okay. We need 12 hoppers, so shouldn't... Oh, you're still, still there. Nice. Okay. So let's just grab this. We can make a hopper. Oh, that made exactly 12. Look at that. 12 hoppers, easy enough. Now, if I want to make a dispenser, or we need observers, let's do an observer. So I need a co cobblestone, quartz, and redstone. I only need one observer. The other thing that I need is dispensers. So I need cobblestone and an arrow. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's uh, put those back in there for now. All right, well, we've got our hoppers. Then we need to do some redstone building of things. So we'll close that up again. Head back to our storage room. I'm I'm literally so glad we have a storage room now. It makes everything so much easier. And it's also really cool that I can use this uh, simple storage thing because then we literally just have to search for the item that we want out of one little terminal block, making everything so much easier. I, I love it so much. Okay, so we need redstone back, so we'll grab this. Then we need quartz. I'm glad we have a lot of quartz. Then we're going to need a bow. I don't know if I have a lot of bows. Yeah, um, let's do string. We'll make some bows. Actually, I can just do this. If I do, what is the, the thing? Is it like this? No. How about this? Like that? Okay, what is it? <laughs> It's funny how I just use the like auto craft recipe so much that I just forget. Oh, that's the, the way that it goes. Okay. Well, fine. Um, I need two dispensers. So, I go like so. Okay. It's funny how I'm just so used to using the little like auto craft thing that pops up on the left side here that I always forget the actual genuine recipes to build stuff. So, super fun. We've got cobblestone, so now we should be able to make the dispenser. Yeah. I can make one dispenser. And then we just do another dispenser like so. And then for the observer we need, we'll just do this. And then we've got the observer, which is perfect. It's also dark, so I'm gonna take another snooze here. Don't want things getting me. We're just levitating. We're just sleeping on top of rugs. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, so now we've got... Actually, I need three of these dispensers. And we need two observers. So we're still, we're still crafting. We're still making things. So we've got two observers. And then we need one more dispenser. So we've got this guy. We do need another bow. That's the piece that we're missing. So let's uh, grab some string again. And then the string goes like so. This goes like so. We make it. 
And there we go. So now we've got three dispensers and two observers. So we've got those things how we need them. And I'm just going to put these in order of what it's telling me that I need, just so that I kind of know that I have it all. So we've got our dispensers. Then we've got our redstone. We've got our observers. We need to make a lever. And I don't think I have a lever. Let's see what we got. Oh, we definitely just, yeah, we've got a lever. There we go. So the lever, then we've got our chain. We need to make a mine cart. So if we've got, do we have any blocks, iron blocks at all? Do I have them in my inventory? Yes, I do. Okay, we've got a mine cart we can make. Like so. There we go. All right, chain, mine cart got the rail got this we can grab some water and then we need two stacks of the ender pearls so that's what we we got going on then we have our dirt we've got our slabs over here we need we're gonna instead of using carpet we're going to use more of the slabs so we the main thing we need to pick up now is literally just all of the the sakura and the calcite those are the main things we need to. We're gonna use some pond water. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back and put this in our little box. All right, and we've got water. So the main things we need are more ender pearls, which we'll pick up in the end, no problem. We'll just make a little box and then the endermen will uh, come at us. So that should be perfectly good. And then we'll just put all of these things away. We'll keep the redstone. We've got redstone, so it should be good there. So we can put these away. We'll keep the chests and things. The first phase is going to be just getting everything set up in there. I'm not too concerned about getting everything kind of decorated right away. The main focus is just gonna be build it and then we'll come back to decorate. So the main things that we're going to need for this trip is our carp pumpkin head to keep us safe we've got food we'll make a bunch of sakura saplings and we'll actually collect up a lot of the uh the leaves so if i have do i have any hose that have silk touch on them if i can spell correctly you don't have silk touch but we can get silk touch on you i think we have enough emeralds to do so so what i think we'll do next is we're going to work on collecting up the two stacks of our sakura and then we need like two and a half so this is pretty much what it's going to look like we need two stacks and a little bit extra of all sakura and that's not even our calcite so the calcite's the other thing we're going to need but we'll put the calcite i can't put i wish i really wish i could put these shulker boxes in this spot but i can't so sad but let's just uh work on resource collecting our sakura the other thing we need to collect is some calcite now my thought with this if i go out here so the map refreshes to be on the outside of the overworld not on the inside we do have ways to kind of see if there's any mountains that would have calcite and I kind of feel like that could be a good way to quickly find calcite. So like this looks like calcite to me, right? So like we could mark this. This is Stony Peak. So this is probably calcite. So maybe we travel here quickly. Let's teleport. Oh, actually, let me uh, pick up my boxes first. We've got this box with all of our other things. And then making sure once again, this is Silk Touch. It just takes so long. Okay. We really need to get um, like efficiency <laughs> badly on this. But now let's just go back. I'm, this has to be calcite in my mind, right? Like there's no other option of what this could be. <gasps> oh, yay. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> wow. Oh, and we have vein miner. Like, hello. This is going to be great. Oh my gosh, there's a rhino over there. Oh. <gasps> That's so cool. What the heck? Oh, look at it. There's an elephant. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. What the heck? There's so many cool little critters. 
Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Just all the critters. So cool. Oh, and of course there's some more of those little guys. Some ores. How neat. It's always fun to see what's around our area here. Oh gosh, what is this? That looks like it's a little bit of a graveyard over here. That could be a fun explore, but we need to first do the uh, do our due diligence of what we came here to do. So let's do our efficiency and vein mining pick. So we'll put Silk Touch away. Now we just, whew. oh my gosh, it's literally just so simple. I love it so much. I It's so nice, so convenient. Oh, we got the wind guy up here. Whoops. This calcite, though. So easy with Vein Miner. Oh, my goodness. Literally, I think Vein Miner and the uh, the fast chopping trees thing are definitely, like, the better quality of life mods, I would say. Because, like, look at this. We're getting this calcite so quickly. But I will say, collecting it by hand also very appealing. You know, just it just sounds so good. I love the sound of calcite. I think that's one of my favorite sounds is like calcite breaking. That and amethyst. I feel like those two are probably some of my favorite sounds of blocks in the game, but I'm curious, you know, uh, what are some of the sounds in Minecraft that you think are the best sounds? Obviously, uh, everyone will kind of have some different ideas, but I am curious to know what, you're, uh, what you guys think. Cause there's probably some sounds that I definitely like forget about and then it's just fun to like remember you're like oh yeah I do like that sound as well this is true oh this is gonna be so good we almost have a full box which is great I'm just gonna hop down here pick it all up I'm just like demolishing this like look at the map now <laughs> There was so much calcite, and I'm just coming through and being like, Hello, this is all mine. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. But I mean, I'm the only one who's gonna see it like this, so it's, it's fine, right? Totally fine. Yeah. Alright, well, I'd say this is definitely good on calcite. Um, I will never need calcite. Well, I might, just not for a long time. But let's go check this out. Oh, wait, look at this. <gasps> Wait, is this a jungle temple? It's in the forest. Oh, this is a jungle temple. Oh my gosh. Um, let's create a waypoint. Jungle temple. That looks like it could be super cool. Confirm. Jungle temple. Yes, please. That'll be a different adventure for a different day. Today, I do just want to check this out, but we're gonna be a little bit further away. We teleport. Okay. All right. Now, I think the sun's coming up, so we should be okay. Nothing nothing should come out. Oh. <laughs> Just a snail friend. Okay, well, that's, that's not scary. I don't think I'll need to worry about anything, but you never know. There's a binding. Nice. Just, just what we like. All the, all the curses. Okay. Lots of bones. I feel like I'm, uh... Oh. Why are you all blocked off? But I feel like I'm just, like, rampaging through someone's, um, remains... things? Don't know how I feel about that. But if I get goodies, then maybe I'm okay with it. Um... There's usually something under here. I don't think there's any... Oh. Oh. Okay, there's your there's your bones. I was gonna say, I don't think there's anything in here. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just leave that. We'll just go this way. I'm down here. I think this is a church. Grass and ferns! Lovely! Oh, another butterfly! Hi, buddy! Hello! Hello, butterfly! So pretty. The chicken's like, I'm here too. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. 
we've got some paper. We can make paper little lanterns, so we, we do like that. String will take. Paper for our lanterns again. Bones. I am taking the bones. Why are there so many snails here? I got distracted by this. But hello, little dude. Oh my gosh, you're the baby. It says it's growing. In the top left, it says he's still growing. You're so adorable. The little baby snail. And then you become the big snails. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So cute. Hello. Anyone in here? Hi. Anything at all? Oh, wow. Sharpness bullet shot. Dang. Slowness. Okay, well, there's some things. That's that's cool. Let's um, move some of these things into our backpack. To make room for other things. Sharpness and protection. We'll take the paper. We'll take these. Gunpowder. We'll take slowness. I don't know if we need to take the slowness. We can definitely make a lot of, uh, like... In little uh, pens, like quills. I will take these lecterns, which I know are your pulpits. I'm very sorry um, to the church that I'm just taking things from. You saw nothing, okay? You saw nothing. And then we'll just see. We've got some more iron, some more bones. Lure to, eh, not as interested in the lure. We'll just do a little around the edge, around the perimeter. Okay, nothing is on here. So we can enter. I feel like this would be the place where we would indeed... Oh, feather falling, that's nice. Um, we would have a bunch of just like spawners, you know? I feel like this, this would be the spot. If we're gonna end up with spawners somehow, this, this would be the place. Like, especially under these little slabs, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, lapis! Hello, yes please. I will take a lapis. Got bones. More paper, more bones. Iron. I guess we'll take the gold, you know? I don't have an easy way to get gold all the time, so I think we'll take the gold. We'll take the bones, we'll take the lapis, we'll take the paper, and the bone meal, which we'll put um, all these things. Oh my goodness, I'm already getting my inventory all filled up. Okay. Any other... Any other... Oh, you? No. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, there was two of you. Oh, they're all coming, aren't they? Okay, okay, you goons. Okay, calm down. It's hard to hit them in the tall grass, too. That's my other issue. Dude. You know, I shouldn't be too surprised that this is happening. Oh my gosh, that, that whole thing is infected. Snail, run for your life. Run for your life. Yeah, they're really just coming. Coming to get me. Oh, wow. Owie. Okay, 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 okay. They're just everywhere. All right, all right, all right. Okay, literally me just trying to find something to stack up with. Yes, yes, I know you're there. Yes, hello. Let me just grab some blocks. Luckily, they don't like hurt a ton. I just, I just need enough room to pillar up two blocks. That's literally all I need. Yes, okay. Now I can move around enough. Alright, come, come here, silverfish. Come, come to me. Oh my gosh, are they just... I think as I, like, killed some of this, 
This is so interesting. I think it just like breaks open more of these blocks. That's my kind of theory here. See? Interesting. Very interesting. All right, well, I can deal with you. Any more gonna pop out? <laughs> Any more just lurking about? None of ya? None of you? You're all done? That was, that was interesting. I will say. All right, yeah, back to what I was doing. <laughs> Looking for things. Now I'm just paranoid I'm gonna have these little bugs coming out. But we'll just move these. Potent poison. Inflict poison when it hits a non-undead mob. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Kind of neat. Okay, okay. I think the footsteps are the snail. I'm assuming. Not positive, but that's my guess. Well, that is an interesting little uh, thing. Okay, well, we've explored this. We know that there's now a... Oh my goodness. Now that is an ocean monument. Holy moly. Is this on my map over here? Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Hang on, is this a... We're gonna do a little cheeky look through and then we're gonna go and start building, okay? It's not a fun modded Minecraft adventure if we don't get to see what's around us. <gasps> okay, this is huge, but so cool. A message in the bottle, oh no. Probably someone's like, don't go in here. Whoa. Okay, we're taking- we're putting some night vision on just to get the- the full scope of what this looks like. So we can get sponges by not going in there, but we'll get mining fatigue right away. But wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's all of these side bits. Lots of copper. We can collect copper. That's cool. This place is definitely a maze, though, I will say. And then there's all these little offshoots. Super cool. There's, like, a staircase. That's interesting. Little hallways. There's some glass. Oh, wow. I'm sure these rooms actually do have the guardians in them. I'm just too far away to notice, but that's so beautiful. It's also like for sure time for me to sleep, guaranteed. Oh, I guess not, not yet at least. But that is so cool. I've never seen an ocean monument like this. Granted, I haven't actually played modded before like this, like this type of modded. Look how cool this is. That's so beautiful. And then is this just like glass? Oh, sure. So I could kind of like break in here if I felt like it. Oh, that's so cool. I'm a little bit scared to take on something that large, but it's so neat. So, so cool. I love that. Definitely not an adventure for today. That is, that is insane. That is giant. But it also looks super cool. So we'll, we'll do something like that. But just not today. So I think today we go home. We'll just teleport back home. Okay. Nice. And then we've got some little fun extra goodies. Once I orient myself. And we'll just drop off all those extra things that we acquired from the graveyard. And then I promise we'll finish resource collecting. I feel like it's so easy for me to get distracted in this game because there's just so much to explore. It's so fun. I love it. All right, this should be good. 
also need to monitor how much bone meal each of these is taking from me. So I don't run out. So far these are all connecting. All right, knock that guy down and you can hold them. Beautiful, love that. This makes just collecting resources for like wood types so much quicker. Like honestly, if this mod is installed, I really think that you don't necessarily need to make a wood farm, you know? Like you, you definitely could just because it will still be like faster in a way. Like, you don't really need it, because you can get tons of trees just getting all grown up pretty quick, as long as you have bone meal. But you need bone meal for a tree farm or doing it manually. But with this mod installed, oh hi. But with the mod installed, it, it makes it a little bit quicker. There we go. Just collect them again. See, look at that. It looks like pink snow on the ground. Oh, I love it. It's so fun. Okay. Perfect. Yes, more than enough. There we go. We've got our Sakura and we've got our other chest all ready to go. We just need to collect two stacks of leaves because we're going to pillar out into the void. Oh, and then paper. I want all of the paper for the lanterns. And I think I left coal in here. Yeah, we've still got paper, so we can make lots of our lanterns. So we're good on paper. We have charcoal and coal. So I want to use a lot of the paper lanterns as well. That's going to be one of the main things that we'll use to decorate. I also liked the idea of getting some of the, um, the cherry blossom leaves. I think that would be nice. But you know, we've, we've got let's just try this okay we can see about upgrading our hoe with some lapis so we'll grab that and then we're gonna go over to our enchanting area inside our starter house and we're gonna see about enchanting this because we defeated the dragon i do have a ton of extra levels and if we need to collect a bunch of leaves having this one be a little bit more um, oh, did I put them in here? Okay, let's see what these are. So that's looted. Loyalty. Looted. Icebreaker. Not the books I wanted. Looting. I wish you could read these. Oh, we do have a silk touch. <gasps> Yay, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, the silk touch book will be in my offhand. Perfect. So we have Silk Touch. So now, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Let's just see about enchanting this. We've got our lapis. So let's go like so. <gasps> Ooh. All right. Efficiency and vein mining. Interesting. I'll, I'll take that though. Efficiency is going to be great. And then we put Silk Touch on this. So that'll be even better. So we'll just go and... I think I moved the anvils over to our little uh, storage room. We will need to get unbreaking or mending because I have a feeling this is gonna go pretty quickly. Did I? Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure. So we have silk touch, yes. Okay, yay, now we're gonna take a nap and then we're gonna go collect our leaves. And I do wanna collect a bunch of the cherry leaves because I think having those have the particles just on the the ground and everywhere is going to be really nice so we've got sakura calcite and our additional pieces i've got this one as an empty one so if we just fill this up with the cherry leaves and then a few other leaves we should be good but this is gonna be good we've got silk touch on our hoe now i'm sure if we go and raid an ancient city we could also find them which once again if uh, you didn't know I discovered in a different uh, video that I live directly on top of an ancient city. So literally the portal frame is like under my uh, my house. It's like right in there. So 
we, at some point, whenever I gain the courage, <laughs> will go exploring and, uh, yeah, raid the ancient city. I think I first want to get myself a wool farm set up and probably get a large amount of wool just because I, I'm assuming it's just a normal ancient city, but we're in modded, so it could be a modded ancient city. The same way that the end was modded, the nether's modded, and the end island was modded for our dragon fight. So it's things like that that make me a little nervous. <laughs> It's just gonna be um, a little scarier than I would think or like it to be, but it's it's fine Hey, now we can get all the leaves So what I'm gonna do is use all of my cobblestone to stack up and We can get on top of the trees Actually, let's try vein miner you know, could have seen that coming. I yep, could have seen that coming. But we've got another box, so let's put all of our leaves in here. And then this will just be where we get to collect them all. Vein miner for uh, picking up blocks, especially for all of these, is actually super nice. All of our little leaves. Very, very helpful. Oh, now I have to manually chop them because I interfered with the leaves. Okay, that makes sense. Not as, like, exciting or great as I would hope. You know, I wish that it would just chop down every time, but I guess I can understand if I, like, tamper with it, how then the, like, mechanic doesn't work. It's nice that I can just step up here. And I'm not on the, um, the cherry, so this works really nicely. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have enough. There we go. Alright, so that one's taken care of. We just got this one. jump up here. <gasps> oh, I want the thing dungeon. Oh, that's a bummer. That is such a bummer. We lost. I, yep. I was so focused on everything else that I completely um, wasn't paying attention. And I'm sure you guys were like, Red, you gotta, you gotta keep an eye on that. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. But, you know, honestly, at the same time, I'm not as sad about accidentally breaking a diamond tool just because I do have access to all of the books from the villagers and I got so, 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 so many diamonds in the end while we were exploring everything. So in my mind, like, it's totally okay. It's not ideal, obviously, because now I have to make a new one. But at the same time, you know, we, we still got it. Look at that, we've got so many. Okay, I think this should be enough. And then I do still want to go and get some leaves that are not the cherry, because I want to use the cherry for decorating, not just, you know, pillaring out. Just some regular forest. That almost looks like there's something in there, but I don't think there is. These are all the trees, old growth. Let's just go look in the forest. Let's go over here, teleport. And these are just oak leaves. Yeah, so we've got our shears. And then if I just look up where we are, there's just a big old bridge. That didn't really get to go too far in life. Looks like it could be a really pretty bridge. Just got kind of chopped off, not allowed to, you know, finish. We need two stacks of these, so we're gonna just put our two stacks out like so, and then we'll just collect until we got all the leaves we need.
Okay, now I think we do have enough of the oak leaves for sure. I did decide to get a little bit of extra just so that if we need to use different types of leaves for any other projects, we don't need to worry about needing to come back all of a sudden. We can kind of just grab from our storage. So we've got our backpack, which has a ton of the leaves that I already started collecting. So now we just get to go home and drop off these other little bits and bobs, and then we get to go into the end. And it looks like, oh. The map kind of calms it down. But let's go back to our house and we'll go back to our storage. Teleport. Right in front of it. Perfect. Now we'll drop off the oak. We've got extra sticks, so we'll drop those off as well. All of our saplings and our oak. We'll drop off the apple, then we'll go into our backpack grab all of these things from our backpack. The leaves we'll keep. We don't need the books. We've got our cherry leaves, so let's put these leaves inside here. There we go. We won't need more leaves than that, so we should be good. And we'll take our little carpenters. And I'm actually kind of curious if I grab the oak leaves and in the botanist one. Ooh, look at that. We can just make some pretty ones. What if we make some white flower leaves? I think that will be more fun. Let's do that. Like, look at this, okay? If we compare the two, like, obviously, this will look different in different biomes. But that looks so much more vibrant and pretty, so I think we gotta go with that. I'm also curious, do cherry leaves, are cherry leaves able to get changed? They're not, okay. So, I don't think I need the botanist workbench actually, since I already changed these over to our little white flowers. So that should be good. So really the only one that I need I don't think the Tinker's one is going to do anything for us right now. We'll come back if we need it. But the Carpenters and the Mason's Table are going to be the main two that we'll, we'll use and transform. So we'll put those in there. Now we'll just grab these. Goodbye, Sunny. Goodbye, dude. I still need to decide on your name. I think some people have given him some comments for a name suggestion. But I need to go back and look at what was said so we can actually pick something. But okay, I've got my carved pumpkin hat on, so we're good. I do need to be careful with my feather falling boots. Maybe before we leave quickly, we just run over here and um, make some new iron boots and just combine them just so these stay safer because they don't have they don't have the goods on them right now. All right. We make a pair of iron boots. Take these off. 11 or two. All right, I feel better that at least I have the feather fall, the good feather fall for on my boots. But okay, now we get to go off into the end and work on our little, I'm a little scared honestly, but we get to work on our XP. Stronghold room, stray base camp. I think the stronghold room? Yes, okay. Here we are. We are back. I also want to kind of make this safer and get rid of all of this extra fire, this lava. I don't want to go up in flames. Okay, but I think we're safe. So let's, let's jump in. Okay. All right, we're here. All right, now here's the thing that we need to do, right? So the idea is that we go to the farthest point, which I believe to be right here. And then we're going to use those leaves and we're bridging out with two stacks of leaves all the way out here. Now what's good about this is it's still gonna be far enough where it's not going to start grabbing these other islands. So we're not gonna have Enderman spawning over here. We're probably gonna get out to like right in there, but it is kind of cool to see on a map just how far away the uh, actual rest of the islands are from the end island so that if 
you do just want to skip like not killing the dragon and just go looking for wings, you can do that. It's a lot of pillaring blocks, but you can do it. It's just, it's just a little scary. And it's also cool that you can zoom and at the bottom in the middle here, it tells you how far out you were zoomed. But look how much we kind of already went through and uh, discovered. Kind of nuts. There's some end mine shafts I found and village, a boss obsidian thing, which there's a few of those around if you kind of look around. But see, there's another one right there. But we're not going to deal with bosses. We're just going to deal with um, building out. So I think let's grab our leaves. One, two, three stacks. And then I'm going to grab some of our Sakura wood too leaves here we are because i want to make sure i can make some platforms before i get all the way out there because it's a little bit scary <sighs> okay well we are in the modded end we're gonna build an enderman xp farm i don't know why i'm so nervous i've done this before but it is a little bit scary but um i'm gonna be following a little tutorial as i go with this just to make sure i do it correctly hi bud you can't see me i know it's pretty cool okay now let's do this this is the furthest out bit so we're doing two stacks of these leaves and we are going to hit shift with our pinky extremely hard i do have a avoid undying totem which even though part of me is curious to find out what it does i also do not want to find out what it does because i don't want to waste a totem or use a totem but what's nice is once we get the little waystone set up, I won't need to worry about this. I'll just have easy access to just teleport to the Enderman XP farm, and then I can get rid of the green line that's just gonna be showing up on the map, which will be nice. I would prefer if I could actually find some wings, but I explored all of the different end biomes for like three hours and still could not find any structures that had wings in them like no boats no nothing so i'm kind of just probably gonna need to look up on the wiki just um how far we need to go okay but look at that okay so we're here now i want to make a little box like right in here where I can just set down all of my boxes and not worry about them accidentally flying off into the end, right? Like that would be the most tragic thing to ever happen. So I'm gonna kind of just make a box like so. And that way we can just come around here but we can also just keep our stuff in here. So we've got our cherry leaves, which is more decoration now. We've got the Sakura planks. We'll put a little, little crafting table down. We've got our hopper and things, which we'll use some of that now. I also need to make sure I don't get pushed forward by the boxes. So maybe over here, we just go out a little bit. You know, just make a little bit of a perimeter so I feel a little bit safer. Okay, so we should just start making a 9x9 nine nine box. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then coming back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then we're going to just fill this in until the inside has a 3 by 3 hole. So I think if we do like so, this is one, two, three. And if we go like so. Perfect, 
Okay, so we've got our box. So now what we're going to do, we're gonna just make this a little bit more, less scary, I should say. We take our hoppers, and I think this is where we're gonna start getting all of our observers and things. But we're gonna go like so, facing them out this way. These will all connect. I do need some carpets. I will say I will need carpets. But we've got these here. And then we're going to add in, I think the uh, dispensers is where these are going to kind of connect into. So the dispensers would go here and then the observers are gonna go here. And then everything from these hoppers will get funneled in here and then go into the dispensers. Okay, so if I want this to go out this way, I also realized I was supposed to make droppers and not dispensers. So that's fun because we're gonna have to drop them off. So I'm sure some of you were like, Red, what are you doing? That's not accurate. <laughs> But luckily, I only need three little redstones according to this tutorial, I think. So I think I should be able, if a dropper only needs one dot, you know, I can still make the droppers and then I have a bunch of cobblestone here. So I think we'll just make them real quickly. So if we go like so, we'll do three and then we've got droppers. So now we've got the correct tool. We don't need dispensers, so I'm gonna put the dispensers back so I don't get confused. Okay, and then we actually will first add some additional hoppers, which we are gonna need to get rid of some of the poor wood pieces. So we go like so, and then these droppers will go here and Oh, hi, buddy. How's it going? I hope you're doing good. Just vibing in the end. Looking all pretty. Love to see it. All right, now I need to figure out how to place these. So if I go like that. All right, so I'm placing these correctly. And I got them all. So now we should be good. If I just come right here, because we want to drop them into the void, right? Now, if I move this, okay, so I did that correctly. So we're going to throw them into the void. Now I'm going to put this back temporarily. So this is correct. Now we need to have observers facing each other. Okay, so let me just play with this for a bit. So if I go like this, it faces away from me. Okay. But if there's a block here and I place it, it goes towards the block. Okay, so... Oops, wrong tool. If I get rid of this, then if I place an observer here, it should face this, like so. And then, I just don't want to waste them. Oh no, you went into a thing, didn't you? Oh, it's in the dropper. I was like, where did it go? This is also why I'm not turning this on yet. Anyways, so then if I place this one here, they're both looking at each other. Okay, so that's how I got to do it. Dang it, I did it again. Okay, so if I place... This one here, it's facing that. And then if I place this one here, it's facing that. Ooh, so now they're permanently clicking. Yeah. Are you gonna stop? Okay, maybe not. Okay. Um, let's remove this for now. Do I put it on the dropper? Ah, okay, so it was connecting to these. Okay, so that at least helps. So then this is turned off. Okay, the next thing that we're supposed to do is this little dude. It's actually supposed to go here. 
and then this is locked in place. Now, what it tells me to do next is we're going to put all the slabs across this and then get rid of these three so that the droppers, you know, can actually drop some stuff. So we're gonna grab our little slabs around here and we'll put these in our offhand to make it just quicker. So then if I go like so, we'll get rid of these. Okay, already off to a wonderful start. There we go. Okay. All right, now this is a little bit safer, except I'm gonna keep these open for now because I still need to get down. And the other thing I wanna do is I do want to make a room down here, but I'm not gonna worry about that quite yet. And this is gonna stay locked in place because for now I do wanna collect the ender pearls, but uh, just we'll do something a little bit later. But then we're gonna make our little kind of room. So in my Let's Play series, when I made this, I used a water bucket and I kind of just created a room down below here where I plan to, in this world, put my waystone, some extra chests, things like that. So for now, we're going to keep on building this up and we'll worry about the smaller room later because it's more of the decorative bits and we need to build this up quite a bit. So we need a lot more Sakura. Now we're going to grab a bunch of the Sakura since we're gonna start building up all of those rings in this one. I'm making one of those kind of classic ones that you've probably seen before where you just have the platform and then we're going to build up 13 rings all the way up and make a giant spawning platform at the top of the 13 rings but we just need to start by building all these said rings so first what we need to do is build the top block here so we're going to do a nine by nine so we're going to do the exact same shape that we have down at the bottom here, all the way around. And then we're going to fill this in all the way. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're just gonna literally like make this exact same shape we have here and make a three by three square as the open space in here which basically we just get to follow where the hoppers are since the hoppers are that three by three space which makes it much easier i saw our spawn platform and it was like a black shape and i thought an enderman was on top of our leaves and i was about to be like um excuse me you're not supposed to be able to spawn here all right, so then all the way around, we have a three by three, which is perfect. That's what we want it to be. And then one thing that I do want to do is I'm going to create a little, um, I'm going to put a bunch of slabs here because this is spawnable right now. But if I cover this with slabs, it will not be spawnable. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up two blocks and then we're going to place one, and then this will be a one, two, three, four, five by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then this just allows us to have our little hopper shoot open if we do five by five, because now we still have the three by three space. And then this is our first ring, so we're just going to make 13 of these rings all the way up. Right, so I just need to first make sure that this is spawn proof here because I think the higher up we go, we will start getting more of the, uh, the Endermen starting to collect. But it is kind of weird to just be in the end and see zero Endermen right here because we've built so far out that the little like spawning radius dome isn't reached at all, right? So there's like none of them, which it looks kind of funny to just know that it's just like an empty space there. There we go, and then we'll just put these in two rows all the way around. Just making sure I'm doing this right. And then it's kind of nice that there's a shadow here, because then I can at least see. Kind of weird that I just heard a train inside the end, but it's fine. <laughs> kind of silly if you ask me. 
That definitely would have been more of like a spooky sound had I been in the mines, but being in the end where there's literally like nothing around just makes it sound a little funny. So then what I think we'll do is we go one, two, and then we're going to have a bunch of the Sakura in our hand. We'll go all the way around. Oops, not like that though. That is not how we will go around. And I definitely went too soon. That's fine. I guess that one could open fine. Now we just kind of fill this in, go to up. And I do want to try to collect these um, pieces as I go, but it's just going to be kind of hard. So if I go like that, maybe? Oh, I almost fell off. That's really bad. Almost fell. That would have been very sad. All right, I think I got all of the pieces. Now we just work our way up. And complete that and go all the way up. And then all the way around. I am a little bit nervous about trying to get down from here, but I think I'm just gonna take down that layer because I'll want to get rid of all of these uh, dirt blocks anyways, so we might just do it that way. But I love how there's just an end whale. Like literally the only thing out here is this little guy. Well, He's, he's not exactly little. He's quite the dude. Quite the thing. Alright. Oh, and he's hanging around. He's not just leaving. That's kind of nice of him. You get to stay and watch me. That's kind of fun. This is, um, End Whale Watches Red Work. <laughs> That's what this is. Alright, we should have 13 now. We've got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, we did it correctly. Now to figure out how to get down. Because I don't have water. Oh, I have a water bucket, guys. Oh, babe. Honestly, always keep a water bucket in your inventory. That's, that's so perfect. Okay. Wonderful. All right, so now we're gonna go back and get a bunch more of our Our sakura wood Literally, this is so helpful. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Oh I took away the redstone didn't I? Yep You know that checks out All right, all right, all right, I hear ya what did I have to do before? I think I just put it here. We'll probably just replace some of these things and we'll just grab all the sakata wood that we can fit. I'm honestly just gonna start putting some of the sakata wood in here. Okay, now we start the process of doing the rest of the building. If I can do this, if I can scoot my way in here and up. Okay, I was gonna try to like speedily swim up here, but I think I'm just gonna be a little bit more careful about it all. Okay. Okay, okay, I did it, we're here. Okay, so now we're just doing a full box right on top of the 13th. And this is where we start the long, 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 long process of building out <laughs> 13 blocks on all these sides. So this is where we're going to build out on all of the sides in the middle and then we connect them. So this will be 13. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, 
got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, now from here... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, one more. 15, there we go. And then we just get this all connected. Perfect. Technically, we don't need to count on this side because all we're doing is linking it up to the, uh, the side that's already there. There we go. I like how the end whale's just hanging out and vibing by us. Oh, you're not supposed to be there. All right. That's okay. One, two. Is there two of them? Oh, you just moved. <gasps> They're on our third. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we just link it up and we're almost done. Then we just have to do the fill-in process, which is definitely going to take us the longest to get her all filled in. I'm really excited to see how well this works for us though. This will be phenomenal to just have all these guys only spawning up here. There's an end whale. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I wonder if they'll start spawning because we're just like building up here more or if there's like a reason that they might, you know, start spawning more of them. Either way, I think they're really pretty. I like having the end whales around. They're so just relaxing, you know? Like even though we're dangling over the void, building things really high up, you know, just look at We've got two hanging out with us now. We've never had two at the same time. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. I'm glad they're here. I do have to be careful not to actually hit these guys because this would not be a fun spot to have to deal with the Enderman. So we're just going to scoot you. You have a lot of hearts too in the top left. You've got a lot of hearts. I wonder if I also were to just light up the, the main end island, if that would help. Let's scoot you off. Yep, okay. Now we get to scoot you just towards the edge. You got it, I believe. I know you don't like this, but I don't like you being up here. Drop you down. It seems like I'm not having the Enderman up here right now, which helps me a lot. I'm glad I brought torches. So if you're going to do one of these Enderman farms, make sure to bring enough torches to light up this entire platform. I think this is a 31 by 31 space if you do the like optimal torch spacing for lighting. I think this is 31 by 31. So then you don't need to worry about the Enderman being up here while you're working. And especially if you don't bring a carved pumpkin or you forget it, having the, the torches up here will keep them from spawning and then you don't have the issue of the, having to worry about them looking at you. Which for me, even though I have a pumpkin on, I, I still don't like them looking at me. It's still a bit spooky. Now the other thing I'm thinking at, I kind of just like looked over at our end gate and I started thinking about how far I would need to travel on the end gateway to figure out how to get the, uh, the wings. I still want wings. Haven't found them yet. Looked for three hours. Found a whole like shulker kind of one of those really tall towers that has all the shulkers on the inside. I found it with like shulker spawners so it's like i found a lot of them but just not what i'm needing you know okay so this is all spawned we've got this going oh we've got some of the dudes but now we need to go back down 
I'm gonna just leave this here so I can jump up again. But we're going to grab all the supplies to start doing the, the Endermite side of this. It is very scary jumping over this. Oh my gosh, so many of them are spawning all of a sudden. That is crazy. Now, before I get too close to them, we're just gonna sh walk and shift because I don't want them to accidentally bump me off. Now, we're going to create a little box. Do it just right here. We're gonna collect some extras. This will be the box to get extra ender pearls whenever I need them, which I might need to collect more of them if we have to do some extra collecting. Okay, I th think if it's like this, they won't be able to reach me. We'll, we'll put some dirt on the outside, just to be sure. So it's now a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is such a decorative box, crazy. All right, now we've got our sword with mending. All right, look at all of you, come hither. Yep. Oh, you picked up my block. Ooh, that's dangerous if you can pick up my blocks. And what I'm gonna do quickly is we're gonna expand this and not make it dirt. Cause they're gonna just take this right off the edges. Like, look at that. They already started grabbing blocks in frustration. They were like, you're gonna look at us? Well, fine, we'll take your blocks. I'll teach you. That's probably what they were thinking, you know? That's exactly what they were thinking. Okay. Alright, now we should be able to get them. I wish I had looting. Because I don't think I have looting on anything. Yeah. Okay. So we just start looking at you all, collecting all you up until you come over here. You are loud though, I will say. I feel like, I'm, there we go. I was like, I feel like I should be getting some of these. I definitely need a bigger, a better sword. Smite 2 in Sweeping Edge is not doing a whole lot for me, I'm noticing. There we go. I wasn't sure how many we needed to grab. Oh, every single one of you is dropping an Ender Pearl so far. How convenient. Okay. Well, we got enough, so let's put our hat back on. So, we've got all of these. Now I do need carpet, because we're using carpet for part of... I don't think I have any more, like, upset at me, right? I think we're good. We're just putting them on the corners to remind me that this is our little spot to get all of our ender pearls when we need them for now. I shouldn't really need to make this even or like spend time on it, but it, it, it's nice to have a little something. Also, I'm pretty sure if I just light those up with torches, we should not have to worry about any other endermen on those sides. But now we're just going to go back into the overworld, and we need to name tag our little endermite and get carpet. So we're going to visit our sheepies. We're going to sleep. I guess I had, um, had my bed be here, which I'm glad it's by my bee. I want to make sure it stays by Bea, just to make sure that we stay close to her so we can bring her back, you know? All right, but we're going home. My home. Okay. We are back. 
I forgot I needed carpet to do the endermite little piece. So let's see if I have carpet on hand. Oh, I've got two. Let's take some of the moss carpet. I think moss carpet would be nice. But we can put the smithing templates in here. And... What else did I want to grab? We needed to name tag this guy. So... Let's name tag our little friend. Let's call them Andy. Andy the Endermite. We could do Endy. Let's do Endy, but we'll do it like this, Endy. Cause that kind of sounds like a cool name. You know, sometimes people have their name be Andy, but it's spelt A-N-D-I. So we'll just have this one be Endy. Endy the Endermite. So we got that, we've got carpet. I think we have everything we need. We'll just do one final check first. Let's get rid of all of these little XP guys. We've got Endy, we've got our two stacks to hopefully get us our little Endermite. We've got some moss carpets now. I'm gonna bring more dirt just as a backup, just in case. But I think we should be good now. So we've got the stronghold room. We still got our little pumpkin hat on. Our, our boots are good. We do need to watch our armor. We do got protection, so at least that's good. But let's uh, let's jump back in with our helmet on. We're good. And then we come up here. And we go running across. But I am curious if I just put a bunch of torches here that won't allow them to spawn nearby this if that will prevent the issue, you know? Maybe it won't. I'm just gonna test this, see if it works. All right, well then that's that piece down there, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to deal with. But in theory, if it works up here, you know, it should be fine. Okay. And now we just run our way back. Okay, now we have to go back up, all, all the way up, and now we get to start doing the rest of the farm, which we're almost done. The last step we have to do is just get the endermite into our little box in the middle. It's going to go right in the middle of this because we want the endermen to run towards the center of this, but they're going to fall down because we are going to have some little uh, trap doors in the way. Ooh, that's good, okay. And then we'll have them over here. Okay, perfect. And then, ooh, I put the Sakura away, didn't I? I did. I didn't need to do that. Okay, well, we'll fix this in a moment, but for now I just want this to be here so I can get those in place. Alright, perfect. Now we put this here, go to the middle, put that, and then I think the tutorial said to go up three blocks, so one, two, three. Next, I'm supposed to put the chain, have a block, and then the carpets.
end up in the mine cart on top of here. So we're gonna put, go down here for a moment. Okay, now you're supposed to put the rail where you're not putting the endermite. And now we just have to do this until we get an endermite. Which might be painful. I'm also gonna have my sh shovel in case I need it. Because if he's a little, little squirmy dude, I believe I'm gonna need to eat my foods. I believe. All right, we're gonna take a, a little break. <laughs> eat some, t eat some foods. You know, get our, our health back up. We can do this, Red. This is why they say two stacks, okay? You might think it's excessive. Not excessive. We might need to get more. <laughs> I, I think we'll need to get more. I also need to eat. I do not want to die just of my own yeeting into a block to get an endermite. I should make sure my health is back up before I try to, you know, do more of this. Because it would be a little uh, awkward if my health wasn't all the way and then the endermite comes at me and then, you know, my health's down. Not what we want. Okay, I have eight more chances. I think it's like a one in... F <gasps> there you are. Hi, buddy. How do I name tag you? Ugh. How do I name tag you? Okay, well, I want you to be here. But let's do this. If I get you out of the cart, can I name tag you? Oh, interesting. I can edit the name tag. Can I name tag you, though? Hitbox. Okay, I need to stop doing that. My name tag is not going on the little dude. But we got it, right? So here's what I'm thinking. If we put this back down. Let's, let's put it the other way, though. Ow! Dude, excuse you. I know you're a little upset. I'm trying to box you in for the rest of your life, so I get that. That makes sense. If they're in the cart, won't they just, like, not despawn anyways? Alright, let's try this again. <gasps> no! Stay alive, buddy. I don't have water. I do have water. Ugh. <sighs> Dang it! Okay. That is unfortunate. What are the shoes? Ruby fire. Oh, hey, you're here. Um. Quick thinking. Yay! Okay. And you should be name tagged now. Owie. And I took off the boots, so even if I get hit. We shouldn't need to worry about them getting hurt. Okay, so we've got you in the cart. My name tag is no longer there, so I think you should be name tagged. That is good. Okay. Perfect. We got you in there, which is great. And now we need to make sure that we get the correct pieces out from underneath you. So I gotta be very, very careful. But you look like you're directly on it, so at least that's good. Now, I think all we have to do is just get rid of these. I just need to make sure that none of the uh, Enderman... Break this and then put a carpet above like so so to get the carpet above I did have to aim it at this other carpet so you can't aim it at the mine cart you have to aim it at the actual moss carpet or carpet to get the carpet to go on top okay 
So I struggled with that a lot in a previous attempt and never actually ended up putting a, um, I didn't actually have one on there. I never had a carpet on top of them, but now he should be safe. So in theory, if we just uh, start taking these torches off, if we look at this, none of the endermen are spawning on this corner here because I did light it up. So that's good. This is very, very good. Now there's literally no endermen anywhere, which is kind of funny. But before we do any of these other things, I'm gonna go back down and I do want to replace this because this is gonna be ugly, right? So we need to fix that. So we're gonna go all the way down. I'm fine if there's some dirt lying around. We do need to fix the dirt. But for now, we're mostly just focused on getting this thing up and running properly. And where did I put the sock? Uh, did we use it all up? We might have used it all up. What do you know? Okay. Oh, yes, you. Yep. Okay. So... Let's do this. If I come over here. And then... Get rid of this. We should just be able to push you off. Just scooch you right off the corner. Yep, just a little scooch. I know you have my block, but that's okay. There you go, bye-bye. Okay. Now, I don't think I have enough, but if I position these, this should work just fine. And I still have enough carpets to do this area. We're gonna do that later. Oh, what I should do is start getting rid of these guys. There we go. This is how we'll get rid of all of these in between. This actually works extremely well. So if you ever just need a oh, easy way to get all your temporary building blocks taken care of, in the middle, just use a little water water chute. This is working wonderfully. Especially if you're like halfway out of the water, then you can actually mine at a decent rate, which is great. Ooh. All right, and up and out we go. Okay, scooch me in right here. Now if I go like so, we get full blocks. Just like that, beautiful. Now I will take this and put it right there. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna stick this and put it back where it should be. Uh oh. Wait, why did that go invisible? That was so bizarre. Hello? Um why did it do that? That was weird. Okay. Well, okay, we, we've got water. Don't know why that's doing that. <laughs> All right, well, we've got water regardless. So right in the middle, we've got water. So we can easily just swim our way up here. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to just get rid of all of these torches. But what I could also do is I might just keep these torches up here while I'm doing the work on it just because then I don't have to deal with all of the endermen. But we could also start getting our farm working. Uh, pros and cons, right? Maybe, let's just see how this works. We can always, you know, swim it, swim our way back up. The endermen don't like the, you know, they don't like to have light or water. So either way, we can, we can make this work. What's nice is now that there's this platform, I can just click and go on top of our platform again. And I can kind of like teleport my way up there, you know? I think the next thing I'm gonna do is create our waystone spot. I think that's the next bit. Okay. Um, there's no Enderman spawning. 
which makes me a little nervous. There they are. Okay. Okay. I was like, um... Oh, here they all come. Nice. Okay. I think I'm just gonna... Go down here. They don't like the water. That's fine. They're picking it all up, too. It's kind of funny. Oh, I almost went off there, too. Oh my gosh, this is so chaotic. I'm just gonna turn this down really quick. Chaos, for sure. Um, are these technically hostile creatures? We're just gonna wait till all the water dissipates. There we go. Okay, now this is the tough part. I have to fix this issue. Yeah. Big issues to fix. I think if I put it here. Okay, that solves that problem. All right, so now, down they go. There we go, look at that, lovely. I do want some more um, torches up here again though. This is a lot. Okay. Okay. But look at this. Our levels can go up so much quicker now. This is great. So good. Now... We just need to push all of these other guys off. Get rid of all these. Push all of these ones off. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through, excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Um, there's just, sorry, not enough room. Excuse me, coming through, excuse me. Yep, thank you, excuse me. Just gonna push you guys all off, try to fix my problem of using the water thing. So keep that in mind with the water elevator. I haven't done that with the water elevator. I just let all the Endermen be up there last time. But um, I did have an issue where one of the Endermen, as I was clearing off the, the box, the dirt box that I made around the little dude, um, the little Endermite, he did actually end up getting uh, killed. So I did need to be a little bit more careful. Excuse me, dude. Excuse me. Scoot me. Scoot yourself. There we go. Down you go. Okay, and then we've still got flowers. So if I go like so, I can just push you down there. Fill that back in. Excuse me, guys. We're just gonna scoot you to the edge there. Right off. Right off the edge for you, too. Yep. And then let's try to get around you. Like so. Actually, it might be faster if I push you this way. And then push you down. This oh, okay, okay, fine. We'll go this way. Just for you. Just because you said you wanted to. Actually, if I do this. No. Whee! Huh. <sighs> now, is there anybody else up? Oh, there's still all of you guys. All right, well, we'll get you. Now, I'm just gonna go around. And now we just have to scooch all of you off the edge. It is much nicer seeing that there's a lot less, uh, Endermen around and I turned down the volumes for them. I think the volume is what was just 
feeling like a lot. And then we go this way. Off you go. Excuse me. I'm trying to push your friend off. Don't push me off. Thank you very much. He's like, I see what you're doing there. I don't approve of this. No, come here. I know you may not like what I'm doing. I'm just trying to, you know, be, be friends, you know? Just get really buddy-buddy. And down we go. Beep. Okay, last one. <laughs> Fixed my issue. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. Just walk right to the edge. Yes. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Beep. There we go. Okay. I think I got all of them. Woof da. Okay. Oh. Okay, and you. Off you go. Off you go. No. Hey, you. No, no, no. Come here, you goon. Off you go. We'll go this way. Oh my gosh, you... I think he knows. He knows. What's that, like... Song that's, like, on the background of some of the memes, like... He knows. Dun, dun. He knows. Whatever that is, you know? That's what I'm thinking. This guy knows. He's thinking. Ma'am, I know what you're up to. I do not approve of this. And I'm like, I understand. Ho ho ho. This is so, so nice. And technically, all of these should be locked for the most part. Because I'm not letting them, like, go, you know? But let's, uh, let's do a little free cam. Let's see how this looks. See, look at that. Working like a charm. We love it. And there's none of the Endermen spawning on this side because I lit it up. So I think my hypothesis was correct, which is always nice. But look at this. Honestly, having the, the toggled night vision on is very convenient. But now the next thing that I wanna do is we will need more Sakura wood because the next thing I wanna work on is making a little secretive way down here. So we're gonna move the light over here. And then we're gonna move this here. And this is gonna be the scary part, okay? So I need to be very careful. So we've got that. Now if I drop down here, it was very scary. Okay, so ideally, this is what I want to do, right? So we're going to have a little spot for us to kind of just, um, oh, there's an end whale. So the idea is we're going to have a little room below this, and this is where we're going to build out and decorate more so. We're going to decorate some of this. I'm going to use some of those cherry leaves on the underside of this, puts them around here, use some paper lanterns on our little rings here. And then this underside is where we're going to actually use most of the decorating. I just need to make this a little bit further down. So we used all of the Sakura to build this. I had exactly enough, but we do need to go back and collect more resources to do that. But I just wanted to make sure that this was uh, gonna work there. We can just scooch this dude off. Beep, bye buddy. And then we also can make, I think I have sticks in my backpack, or do I not? Oh, I might have uh, put them somewhere else. I think I just put them in a, in one of these somewhere. Yeah, so if I just make ladders. Hmm. 
make some pretty letters. And then, where did I put... Okay, the carpenter's table. So we'll take the carpenter's table out, and then we'll convert these into the pretty ones. Like so. And then we'll actually put away this bench right away, because I won't need this one, and I want to keep them safe. So we'll put the bench back. And then this is where we'll end up putting our ladder system. For now, I'll just put it right here, like so. And then... I'm just gonna kind of uh, create a little bit of a safer exit down here. A little torch here too, because if I take off the night viz, I need to make sure that none of the endermen are gonna spawn down here. But then this will be the start of our little area. We'll just push this guy off again. And what's nice is this is gonna be directly underneath where the Enderman place is, so they're not going to be able to spawn. So I'm going to make sure of that. But we've got this figured out. We've got all of the XP able to be grabbed from this, which is wonderful. I can get all of my tools mended up so quickly if I just repair them all right here. Like, this is literally so convenient. And then what we'll also do is we're going to have a little trap door right here to kind of box that off just in case I accidentally start falling down there if I'm just trying to like kind of swing around here and grab all of our XP. But look at that! We've got it made! Which is so so good! And our tools can get mended up way quicker than our little zombie XP farm. Which honestly this is, this is the play because this allows me to get all of the levels that we need and I love that. I wish that our cleric would actually trade ender pearls and give us emeralds, but I think it's not going to be that way. Which that is okay, but this is just so good. So we can get mending up on this one. This one doesn't have it. That has mending. Oh, uh, it's so nice to just know we can get some tools fixed up with this. I love it. I will keep the the volume down pretty low while we're here. Owie. I guess, you know, a little punch here and there isn't too bad. Alright, and then I was going to have carpet placed down on these. And then we've got... Gotta turn these on. So it does drop them, which is good. What's gonna be annoying is they are going to drop some of our XP, which isn't exactly what we want. But what do you do, right? Okay, and you're already not laying down correctly, you little blocks. So if we put those out, oh, it did it again. There we go, right in the middle, there we are. Okay. Now we've got the carpet on, which is good. Then all the XP doesn't get stuck in the hoppers. I'm just actually able to pick it up. Yay, I love that. It's, oh, this is so helpful. I love it. Now the only issue is like, we are going to have some of these experience nuggets get lost, which it's a bummer, but what do you do? You know, it's, it's a small price. I'm not actually too upset about that because the rate we're going to be able to get XP is way more than that, so stick all of these in there 
And then, because we've got all of this figured out, oh, hi, buddy. You need to get pushed off the edge again. I think this will always be an issue, but once we're able to clear this away, I think that'll help a lot. But what we need to go, go do is collect more Sakura. So I think we'll maybe get like three stacks of the Sakura wood so that we can start working on creating this bottom area. We have our mason's table so we can convert some of the, the calcite, which is gonna be our floor and it's gonna look really pretty. And then I need to start making a bunch of paper lanterns. So we're going to need a lot of these sticks for that. And I think we've got a decent amount of paper because I think all we have to do is this. Yeah, so we need a lot of just paper. We need tons of paper. So that's why we got this. We go like so, grab the paper. And then we can go like this and like this. This is probably one of the most like resource intensive things. Like we have the sugarcane farm for a reason because then we can actually make these. Because we got 28, and that wasn't a lot. Okay, I think we got all of our paper, so now we can just put all of these things back for now. The redstone, we can put back on all of these guys. And then... We'll just move. Okay, I don't I don't want those on me. And where did the lever go? Oh, did the lever get lost? Okay, well we're gonna hear clicking for a bit until I grab some um Is it just like this with the lever? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Well, I guess we'll definitely have to get rid of the, the clicking thing, but it is nice that, you know, they'll all just spit out and we don't need to collect them if we don't want to. So we've gotten that fixed. I cannot put any more water near that, but let's go back. Let's get our stuff. We'll leave these down in here. Okay. And now we just run our way back. I'm excited to actually get to the more fun part, the decorating part. We've done the build itself. We explored some interesting finds. We collected a bunch of calcite. We know where an ocean monument is and it's absolutely massive, which is insane. Oh, it beard come all the Endermen over to this side now. Yep, yep, <laughs> kind of funny. We also got to explore a little bit of a, a graveyard, which was interesting. All the Endermites were everywhere, which was kind of cool. You know, it's fun to explore new things. There might be more there, but I did want to make sure we get focused and get back to one of the things we planned to build. We go to Sweep by our little friend Bia. We go back to my home. And we've got a rainbow back at base. It's wonderful. Now we're gonna get much more bone meal for all these ender pearls. We've got a bunch of bones. Let's grab some sakura so we can get those. I don't think I have any more bone meal. Oh, I did have bone meal, even better. Okay, so now we just grab more sakura wood. So we can make a line like so. Another thing I want to do is I think I want to get more of our little bee friends. Just because they add so much to the ambiance. And I love it. I think it's beautiful, honestly. We've got our little avocado friend. Which is great. I'm gonna get more of our um, emeralds out so we can get more golden carrots put those back in there we go We've got our flax seed in there look at our little birdies and we've got all of our bees our butterflies 
I love it so much. Like, look at the butterflies. They're just hanging out. It's so cool. They're so fun. Look at their little eyes, too. They move so much, it's hard to see them. But look at their little faces. They're so cute. I love that. Also, this dude keeps trying to grow other things. Are you stuck, buddy? I also like how you can use these honey cocoons for like holding things, which I think is pretty sweet. All right, close that. And now we, we bone meal. That one just doesn't wanna go. But hopefully this will give us enough sakura we only need enough for the walls, and then I do actually want to collect some of the um, these leaves. So we're gonna use our shears because they do give off a little bit of petal vibes. Ooh, wait, hang on. Okay, we're gonna collect the wood first. I just remembered that sometimes if I mess with it, it means that I have to manually chop it, which that is totally fine. If I have to manually chop, I'm used to doing that. <laughs> That is very normal. <laughs> I'm just acting like, oh, I have to chop resources. Oh my goodness. How could they make me do it? You know, it's like, it's fine. But I just want to get all the, the wood collected up quicker. There's always one that just doesn't want to grow right away. Kind of funny. This should give us a decent amount. These are actually growing pretty tall. Don't know where that one disappeared to, but that's fine. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It's like pink snow. Can't get over it. It's just so fun. Okay. Got all of that. I'm gonna just move some of these things out of the way. I don't need some of these anymore, so I can move them. Give us more space. Put the Sakura. I've almost got two full stacks. So we'll just do another row. Interesting how some of these grow. It's so funny. Getting all of our saplings all grown up. And then making sure I grab some of these from the last time. I think I left some saplings on the side there. Okay, definitely we got enough, I would like to say. But I think just for um, being a little bit more, you know, better safe than sorry with it all. How'd you get out, dude? How did you do that? How did you manage that? Oh! 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 Okay. That, that, that's funny. It, it grew because of there being flowers here. That's hilarious. I was like, how are there more bees? That was very confusing to me. Okay, well, I guess have some more bees. That is actually so funny. And there should be like three bees in here. Yeah, there's three bees in there. Look at that. How funny. If I hold this up, will they come out? Hello, buddies. You want to come out? Welcome to your new house. Oh, I love it. Just the, the prettiest biome ever. That's so funny though. I was so confused where all of those little uh, bees came from. But that makes total sense. They came from nature. All 
All right, so these will be the ones I use for wood and those other three saplings I'm going to use for the leaves. Oh, hi, hello. I didn't expect that. Clearly by my, my sounds. The red noises just me in complete shock. <laughs> All right, this should be plenty, which is perfect. You know, it works that it still is able to kind of like one block chop the whole tree for me. Nice, okay. I think we got all the little bits and pieces. So, we've got enough leaves, we've got basically two stacks, we've got enough here, so now we can go back, and I think we should have everything we need. I might go and see about getting more paper, so I might grab another shulker box just to make sure, but actually if I put the leaves in here again, put these all back, put that back, that back. The cobblestone. We'll put that back. We'll keep that book in here, I guess. That's fine by me. Sneaks, I believe. Okay, and then if I... Yeah, I definitely have enough space, so we don't even need to worry about having too much. So we'll just put those in here for now. And then let's stop by our sugarcane farm, see how that's going. I still love that there's these like sugarcane blocks. I think it's so great. Now we just go on down here, see what we got going on for sugarcane. I'm just gonna take all of it, honestly. Just because you never know. I love these mossy ladders too, they're so, so cute. Oh, I can't open that one, that's right. It's like, I know I did something. Collect some of these up. So, perfect. All right, we got lots of sugar cane. And we can just even trim some of these up too. Just to make it a little bit easier. It's interesting how the bamboo leaves kind of make you walk slower. I did find that to be interesting. Okay, now to the fun part, the decorating part. And I'm very excited to have the uh, the under little compartment all built out my little base because then I don't need to keep on going through this area I'll just uh, be there and it will cost me one experience but that is totally fine by me all right now we're gonna see how all these little enderman guys all of a sudden disappear and start going over there because right now there's nothing right because they all kind of despawn Let's see how long before they start disappearing and switching on top of my platform. See, they're slowly disappearing off the map, if you notice. Slowly going off the map. Oh, and there they are. There they are. Okay. Now, we've got our calcite, so I am going to grab that. We'll put our paper here for now. I don't need the paper quite yet. I will need the Sakura, and I will need the Calcite, except the Calcite needs to go a little bit in a different spot. Okay, perfect. So now we can grab the Mason's Table. And uh, let's put it there for now. And then we can find a really fun pattern and have that be our floors. And I kind of thought that this spiraled calcite kind of reminded me of some of the buildings in the end. And even like on the ender whales, I don't know if there's one around, but they kind of just give me that feel and that vibe. So I think this spiraled calcite 
is what I want to use for the the floor. So I think, I mean, obviously like a whole stack is going to be more than enough for the floor because it's a pretty small space. But let's, uh, let's start going down there and building that out. So we're just going to shift and be very careful. And I do like the idea of it being a little bit lower. So we just got to be careful. Look how pretty this is, right? Like, this is beautiful. Such a pretty floor. Just gotta hit shift a lot. And then I also want to have... Torches. Just because I don't want... Anything coming. And, um... Coming down where I am working. No endermen allowed. They can only be in a little box. And I don't think they can pick up this block too, which is also nice. Okay. Then this should match perfectly. This floor is so cool. I love how this looks so, so much. So, so pretty. All right, we've got this taken care of. Okay, so the floor's in. We just need some more of it. I didn't think I'd need more of the calcite, but I'm okay if I need to make more. So we can just oh, grab another stack right there. Go down, find our little spiraled friend again. That should be plenty. And then, oh hi, end whale. Okay, so if I go and look at the end whale's texture, I don't know why it kind of reminded me of the end whale, but it did. Um, looking at the end whale now, I don't see how I got this, but this texture just reminds me of the builds that are in the end, which is why I thought this would be a fun one. Then we go here, here. Okay. Now, I think what we can do is if we get rid of this and this, we can put some of these right here. And then the other thing I want to do is we're going to have Sakura be around the edges. So here's what I'm debating. So the next thing that I wanted to do is have the edges be Sakura, or the edges would be some of these blossoms. So we go like so, and then we put that like so, or we go like this and put them right here. Cause this is more so just like a fence to make sure that none of the Endermen get up here. That's mainly why I wanted to do that. Now we can also do some of this where under this side we don't actually see this which I think will look prettier so we're gonna block this off which still means that like we don't see any of this but it does bring this down lower I think I like the idea of having the Sakura on the bottom, but yeah, we could change that, but let's just start with something. We just want to get this a little bit safer. All the way around. And then, like so. 
And then we can put lights in the corners and then one in the middle just to kind of remove the extra. So if I go out and I look at this, it looks kind of cool. I think what I could do also is just make the sides completely sakura. Or maybe we just have a little bit of glass. Glass might look better. And then we can mix in some of the sakura as kind of like the leaves to fill in the space, but that way the walls are kind of like a little solid box. They'll feel a little bit safer, but we can put some glass in here so that at least we can kind of see in. So then what that would look like is we would take some of the sakura and we would put it right here. Which if we end up kind of like blocking off this, Right, because it'll just shoot everything out here, which works totally fine. Like so. Because then if I go looking out here. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then we'll put some glass there. I think that'll be nice. Okay, and then we do have the rest of this to fill in just so that it doesn't look so funky. Which we could just leave that on a certain portion of it and not the whole roof. So maybe, because this is covering part of it. Yeah, so this has to be here. So really it only needs to be up to this line. So if we do one more, this should be good. Because then we can put just like different torches and things around. All right, so we're gonna put glass here. That's what I have decided on. Now it looks even better because you don't see all of the hoppers and things, which I really like that, honestly. I think that looks much, much better. And then the next thing that we can do is we're gonna jump up here. We can do some slicing. Oh, this is gonna be so good for all of our tools and things. Oh, I love it so much. So convenient. Okay. Now we've got our paper lanterns, which I'm gonna use most of these on these segments. That one's empty now. We've got our calcite. I'll take another stack of calcite. And I do wanna mix in some of these. And then nothing else is in our inventory that's like gonna help us with this. All right, so now we can come down here again. And I want to start building up some shelves, but I think it'll look better if they can be calcite. So I'm curious if I go like so. Calcite stairs. I have normal calcite. So we could do this for our shelves, right? Or we could do this for our shelves. And we'll have glass. So this won't look as weird anymore. Now this blends in quite a bit. So I think we'll just go with calcite as our shelves. For now at least. On this side, we'll do that. And I'll just put torches in these corners like so, just for now.
Now this is gonna look a little bit too white and bright. Oh, and I do have, where did I put the waystone? Did I put it in the under chest? I can't remember. This is silk touch, okay. So nothing is in our under chest at the moment, which is fine. It's just a long to, you know, keep us company. But I think what we could try doing is if I find where I put the waystone. Here we go. We'll put the waystone in the bottom. Bring some of these leaves down. We'll add a few more of those guys. Now the waystone will be in the center. So if we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's not gonna be an exact middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's probably as middle. Three there, three there, three there. Yeah, there we go. Enderman. Oh, I need to actually title this. Let me just switch screens. Enderman XP farm. There we go. It's official. We've got the Enderman XP farm. Love that so much for us. Huh. That just gives me like way more just peace of mind knowing that that's like taken care of and done. Um, the other thing I was kind of wondering is if we just wanted to have in the middle here, we could do the crafting table like right here. And then on the bottom side, it doesn't really look like anything, but it's this one right here. So then I could put like a lantern right here, maybe. And then I can click on that, right? So if I, oops, I didn't want to put two of them. I like the sound they make. So if I just click on the one that this lantern is on, it's exactly uh, what I need it to be. It's the, the crafting table and it's very sneaky, which I think is kind of fun. The sneakiness is cool. And the other thing we could do is instead of having these slabs here, we could use some of the uh, stairs. Like so, to kind of curve around on the outside edges here. I think that'll look a little bit better. And then, since I know that this is the official spot for our crafting table, we'll just grab some of these. Grab more of those. Just like that. And I'm still going to uh, keep these. I still don't want that to be showing. But at least it looks a little bit cooler. You know, it's not as strange. Now, we'll get some glass, but I'm gonna use these lanterns to go here for now. We can actually move these because they can go up. They can hang, which is better. go. I like it. Now we've got chests to add in. So I think what we'll do is we've got our crafting table. We've got chests back home. So if I just go home from here, which is perfect because it's far less moving and running around compared to going all the way back through the end and then the stronghold and all of those extra things and i think we have a bunch of chests here we go perfect and we can take some of these i'll move these guys out of the way okay 
Okay, and then I'm trying to think if we have books. So we do have some books. Let's see what's in this box. Because what could be cool is if we keep some of the enchanted books that fit the vibe of the end, we just keep them there. That could be cool. But I think if we take a few candles for decoration, let's see if we have pots. All right, we'll take some pots for some decorating. I'm pretty sure none of these end flowers I'm able to put into pots. Survives on pink moss. Let's see if this works. We're gonna do some, some guessing. Yeah, see, anytime it says survives on, I can't put it in a pot, which is kind of a bummer. It would be really cool if I could put some of these in the downstairs area but we could do this survives on pink moss so if i take one of these and we just find pink moss you know what i'm saying this could be cool so if i just move all of these guys out of the way then we could kind of have some of the plants growing and then we can use the trap doors to kind of make like a line to kind of box in like a planter box so then if I take end moss, we take a block of that, we can grow one of you. The dragon sapling, shadow grass. This is black. Okay, interesting. End moss, rustica. There's so many interesting names for everything. Okay, so there's this one and this grows. Oops, where'd it go? Rusticus. Okay, so there's that one. Then... We take some of these leaves, maybe? Ooh, these are pretty. A chandelier. Ooh, let's definitely use some of the end blocks, right? I feel like we just have to do that. End moss, end moss, pink moss. So this end moss is some good stuff. Jungle moss. We'll bring more of those. Interesting. Okay. That survives on that. So many different things. A glowing bulb. Can I just like plant that? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> Jungle vine. Can I just plant that? Oh, I can. Okay, we gotta shear it. Yes. Okay, perfect. So that. Okay, I'm getting more excited for this. Alright, I need a new shulker box. Shulker box with nothing in it. This one. Because that has stuff. This has nothing. So we've got these guys going in here. Here. These are decorations. These can just grow on anything. Can these grow on anything as well? <gasps> Ooh, and they've got lights. See, this is what we needed. End moss. Okay, you grow on end moss. Okay, these are kind of cool now. Jungle moss. A blossom berry. Oh, I eat that. Oh, I don't want to eat that. I don't know what they'll do to me. A jelly shroom? Is that like a... <gasps> Wish I could plant it on the ground. Okay, we have to take these with us. I'm gonna have like too many cool things inside these little shulker boxes. I'm just saying. Okay. So here's, I think, some more flowers. We're just gonna take all of our things from the end. Oh, we have some lanterns and pedestals. All right. We've got some flower pots. I think we'll take some flower pots. That could be cool. Neon cactus. What does this grow on? Can I just like place it? <gasps> I can't place it. Oh, that's so cool. That's sweet. Okay. So we've got some pots and chandeliers. We've got some of these things. These can just grow on anything I'm finding. 
I should probably sleep, but I'm just gonna keep looking. These pedestals could be cool. I think I can just like set something on it, which it could be cool if we find some of our other shulker boxes. Having the dragon head on this could be really cool actually. So I might try that. We'll see how this works. We'll use the dragon head. And then we'll put that on a pedestal. This one can go back in here. Now, as far as the little uh, planter boxes, we should be good on them. Put this one away next. Then some of these are really pretty. I want to have different colors. So we've got these chandeliers, jungle grass. Let's try one of these pink moss. We'll grab more pink moss. That should be good. And then these are just saplings. So I specifically was trying to keep the saplings together. So we have amber moss. Okay, we've got that. I think this should be good. So we've got more pink moss. We've got all of these things. So I think I'm gonna call this good. So for decorations, we're using a lot of the different plants and things from the end. We're putting them on pedestals. Ooh, wait, can this just grow anywhere? <gasps> oh, those things are so cool. I think they're one of my favorites, but we're just gonna make it very end themed. And I do like the idea of having an ender chest in there just because it kind of gives me the vibes so if i type in because it'll give us particles as well ender chest oh i don't have enough obsidian did i not take all of it there we go okay so we've got this perfect and then we have end ender chest so now I feel like we're in a good place. I think I have a flint and steel in here. Yeah, I do. So I can light the candles. I think I want the candles to be bright colors. So let's do dyes. Um, so we'll do a white candle, a yellow candle. Let's do peonies. Well, actually, these ones will get me the pink color as well. So that works just fine. And then let's do... Cyan, um, what flowers? Orchid, a corn flower. We'll do some dyes. We'll bring all the whites out. Because with the corn flower, I can make blue dye, make a light blue dye, dye one of the candles a bright color. Then we can have a yellow candle, we'll have a white candle, we'll have a pink candle. There we go, I think those colors are very fun, bright colors, perfect for the end. And then we need glass, and I think I like the idea of it being just solid, so maybe we go for sand. We do a full stack of sand, and I will do some smelting up here. I think we're almost out of... Yes, we're almost out. So let's do this. We do this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then I had charcoal. So we'll go like so, like so, like so. And then the glass in between will just be very helpful. I might also just see about some of the planter boxes. Planter boxes. <gasps> Wait, did I hear a wandering trader? I bet he's like, um, can you help me? It's very scary out here. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, you can see a wandering trader there, which is kind of fun. Kind of fun. Hey, buddy, where are you at? Where are you going? Hi, bud. What are you, what are you selling? An underground bastion map. Oh, that sounds neat. For 38 though, I have 17. I don't think I'm in a place for this. What are you called? 
what are you called? Harland? Thank you for these lovely gifts, Harland. I like the idea of this under bastion, but I don't think I have enough emeralds. Yep. No emeralds. Sorry, bud. Un em. Yep. We don't got enough. Alright, but for now, we'll put these back. And I don't need anything more from you, so I'll put you back for now. I do like the idea of using a lot of the, uh, the end blocks to decorate this. I think that's a lot more fun and exciting. We should be good on glass as well, so... Oh, there's literally like one more piece on these. Okay, well, we might as well just scrap them. Two, two, and two. That one has a bit more, but we'll just leave anyways. Gotta make sure we take this shulker box with us for our uh, decorations. Okay, now we go back. Nice that we can just directly teleport. Enderman XP farm, look at that. Okay. Now we've got candles and pots. So let's put this down. We can put, let's put our glass in first. I like it being clear just so that I can see everything. Nice touch. There we go. And this feels more protected, right? Like nothing's gonna come for us. You know, we're, we're a lot safer here. So we'll just put some candles around. Now we don't need any more candles. We can place some pots. Now what's cool is some of these things will just be able to grow. And then we can just have some candles around. like the idea of maybe we put the dragon head here on a pedestal. I don't know how this works, but I think I can just click it. Oh yeah, that looks sweet. Oh yeah, that's so fun. I love that. And maybe for just like consistency's sake, we'll do a pillar here and then a pillar here as well. And then we do have some more of the calcite stairs to go around like so. I think this is gonna look cool. Okay, so then maybe what we do is instead of this being where the little guys go, we'll put some of these blocks on the ground. Because then we have a little bit of everything that can grow on it. So we'll put these back, put the candles away for now, put some of these other things away. We start grabbing our plants here. Okay, we can kind of decide. So this grows on the pink moss, which is this one. That's pretty cool. End moss. This is end moss, so there's that one. End moss, jungle moss, the amber moss. Is this the amber moss? This is amber. Oh, it's just a baby guy. Okay, it's it's smaller than I thought it would be. Okay, and then what is on this rusticus one? I think it's this one, yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, I love that. And then let's just take trap doors. We'll take some extras. For 
right there. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I don't like this one on the amber moss. I think I might take this one down. And we'll find something different. So, I think... This guy and the Rusticus guy I'm not as interested in. I took away this little guy. So let's see what's next to this. There's a blue one, so we could do this orange one. We could do another end moss, see how that looks. Is it a tall one? Does it not like to grow here? Okay, a little too tall, I will say. That is that is a tall one. Let's just remove this and see how it looks. Yeah, it phases through. Oh no, I... Oh, dang it, I didn't shave it. Didn't shear it. That's a rip. Okay, let's try this. Also too tall. Okay, um... How was I shearing these before? I don't understand that. Okay. I'm just like losing all of my little special things. Okay, pink moss. Let's do a pink moss one. Alright. Sweet. Okay, that looks better. And then we put this back, and then we get a lant lantern back like that. Now, what's cool about these things is I think they'll just grow on the ground. So if I grab these, a jungle vine, I can just grow a jungle vine there. The influx also just kind of glows, so we could actually just remove the lanterns and do this. We'll just use the end plants to create the light in here. Which I think is way better. Now the thing is... Okay, if this one's on here, I should still be able to reach it. Yeah, that works great. Okay. And then we have the small jellyfish guy which I think could look really cute. I don't have any more calcite. There we do, I have one more. Because then the calcite can evenly match right here. And look at that, we've got some little guys, some little friends. I think that's probably like the coolest thing. And then what we could do is we can have some of these things like on pedestals. We could also we could keep a void totem in here. I think that could be sweet. So maybe we put a void totem. Because it's a unique thing, we can only get here. I take that back. What else do we want to try? See what that looks like. I think the totems honestly look the best. I'm not going to lie. But you know, it's kind of fun just to see what we get. Now, this is Silk Touch, so I'm going to take this. And I did want a way for us to be able to access the Ender Chest. But I think I'm going to leave this here. And maybe if we do the Ender Chest like here. And then we can have some like chests here. We can still open that. I think this is looking really good. We've got some pots to put things in. Oh wait, I can do this guy. So this grows on amber moss. I'm pretty sure I can do this. So if I fill it with amber moss, I can grow it, right? Am I, am I not um, tall enough? Do I need to make some space for this? Let's try this. Hmm. Okay, well, this said amber moss, and this is amber moss. So I don't know why it's not going in there. 
The pot's cool. Well, the, the pot will just we'll just keep it. <laughs> that is that is okay. I think the pots are still so cute though. Even if we don't end up filling them with anything, like I just think it's fun to have them have stuff in them. Like they can just be like pots on the ground, you know, on the floors and things. All right, now as far as what we have in here, we've got an ender chest, so that's good. We've got all the things that I feel like we can fit on here. We got some cool candles. Pretty neat. I like it. I might change this out. And then put the ender chest on the floor. Because then, if that's on the floor, we can put a candle right there. Which I think looks much cooler. I don't really like the candles being here, if I'm being honest. But we could do... Yeah, I think that'll be good. We can put the candles away. I'm not exactly liking how they are. And then we'll put these candles away as well. Don't need those. We can put an end cactus. But I think that's all the different pieces I want to like have in here. We can move, let's move the small jelly guy. We can just go like right there. <gasps> the eye that I forget about that every time. It's so cool though. But we've got some chandeliers and stuff. I think I like the idea of having those. We'll put the end survival guide book in here. I think that'll actually be a good spot because we'll always spawn in here first. So we'll put that book there. I think that'll be good. And then I'll move this box here. And then... We don't need like a lot of storage down here, so I'm not too concerned about not having a lot of space. I just want it to look cute. So I think this is what we got for our decorations, which I like. There we go, a nice little potted plant. How cute. All right, cool. We've got the void totem. We've got our dragon head and we've got our book. I think that's perfect. Don't need a whole lot past that. Now we get to work on the upper side. So now if I just look out here, look at that. We see all of the cool things rotating. I love that. Okay. Now we come up here. We can hit all of the dudes. And then the last piece that we have is just to decorate the sides of this. So I think what it's mainly going to be is we're not going to have any of these other building blocks. It's just going to be a lot of the, the flowers, the little, um, where'd they go? We're using all of these cherry leaves and lanterns. So that's really the only box we need for this. And the top is going to be made with our calcite. So this is gonna be probably the scariest part, I would say, is just all of that. But we can get rid of the ones that we're not going to use. So I can't put them in my backpack, but for now, we can just put them down here. We'll put them in a little, little box. All the things that I don't need currently. And then we're going to start working our way up. And then we've got all of our paper. Circle this. Circle this. Circle that. All right, we've got 14. 
Maybe we just use up all of our, all of the sugar cane. I feel like that'll be the best thing to do. And then we can put those around it. We're getting 24. We'll get some more candles or some more torches, I should say. I like how you can make like little uh, prisons, which is kind of fun. All right, 46, that should be enough. So we'll bring our calcite, we'll bring all of this. We're gonna use probably a bunch of our Sakura wood to pillar in this whole process. We'll just convert those. So we'll want, actually let's take our cherry and we'll take out a bunch of these guys. These ones can just go back for now. And then we're just gonna, oh, hi buddy, hello. We can just add that in there. All right, now is the fun journey. We'll actually uh, leave this there. I don't want anything spawning, so we'll use a leaf. We'll use a very sparkly leaf. But now begins the fun adventure of um, filling these guys in all the way up. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we're going to do one row that has just lanterns. And then the next row that's going to have leaves that will give us all of the particles, right? So we're going to do some little uh, lanterns on this, on the four corners. Like so. And then if we go to the side, this is how it looks. And then there'll be some flowers. We'll have the cherry leaves on the underside. Lanterns leaves lanterns and we're just gonna go up like that so that's that's all we're gonna do for starters nothing too crissy hi buddy and i should be able to reach all the way around which is good Okay, so then when I free cam away, we start to get some particles falling, right? So it's gonna look just like that. So that is going to be what we're going to do for decorations all the way through. What we could do actually is make it look a little bit more intriguing. So if I just did this, what if I tried that? So the ring is full cherry and like you'd obviously see this but the, uh, not the underside, but the ring itself. So maybe we try this. So if I get rid of these ones, let's take a look at that. All right, maybe I get rid of the sides too. So if I take this away, we're just trying to see what this is gonna look like, how to make it the best that we can. Okay, so if I free cam this, it kind of looks cool with the every other. Let's do it that way. I also need to make sure I do not fall in there or I will get entity crammed, which will not be fun. And then we're gonna go like so. Lanterns on all sides. Further up we go. And then we do the leaves all the way around. And this is pretty much what we're doing the whole way up. So I'm just going to add some nice music and you can just enjoy listening to some lovely tunes. 
while we get this all completed.
all right guys well we have officially completed our decorating of our enderman xp farm and uh you, you may have noticed that we now have a giant pink blob on the map which i guess one of the trees that we planted in our waystone little build area they are uh, in there so now we have all these uh Tanea leaves, which, I mean, it is catching our sakura wood, which isn't, you know, this is a good thing. It's a good thing to have it, but these leaves are so, so pretty. I kind of want to shear some of these and have them be as decorations in our area. I'm just being very careful because I do not want to fall by any means. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little too nervous in some of these parts of this. I don't want to get, like, too close to the edge. I'm fine if I'm, like, by the center. It's a little bit safer. Like, I can tell the blocks are filled in. But on these, like, outer segments, I'm a little bit too uh, concerned still. But I will say it is helpful to have this catching all of the blocks. I do need to figure out what we're going to do with this tree, though. Because I don't want this to stay, that's for sure. It's a little too much, I might say. I might, uh, yeah, I think it's a little too much. Now what I don't want to have happen is all of a sudden it just like go out from under me. But these little buds on the tops of it are the things I'm interested in. So if I can just grab some of these guys. These little outer leaves, I think those will be really pretty. So this isn't even like reaching the area that it's supposed to. So this is interesting, okay. Very peculiar. Yeah, it's like fully clogging all of this so that I'm not even able to uh, get the Endermen to go through and down into their little spot here. So maybe if I get rid of this. Okay. And then if I get rid of some of these. If I get rid of some of this wood. Oop, okay. Some of them are filtering through. I think this is going to be a very tedious project. Just gonna throw that out there. But as long as I can get the wood to go away. I think this is the only sections preventing them from going down. Okay, so now they're not getting clogged, which is good. I just need to figure out my way out of here. Excuse me, Mr. Anderman. I will need to get more shears, but let's just go down and take a look at this. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Oh, it's all dissolving. Okay, it's a little bit scary when it's dissolving all around me. It spooks me out just a tad. Okay, okay. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Whew. I will say these are super pretty, though. Aren't they? Oh, I love that. that. Yep, these unfortunately have to go. And we just need to figure out where this the wood is. Okay, so there's those ones. There's some of the branches over here. This is so interesting. I didn't think I'd have this issue before. Okay, you know what? We're just we're just gonna deal with that later. 
I've had an interesting time here already. So maybe our answer is to just um, not have the, uh, the, the trees growing here. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so silly. I guess maybe I should have thought of this when um, we had the trees growing. But it completely wiped out everything. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. And I'm getting these glow shroom woods. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess, you know, that, that does check out. Um, I guess we're not doing that. We'll have other cute things in here instead. Again, I have done this. This is my second one and I think it's beautiful. I, I love it. We're going to have lots of Endermen spawning up here. We've got our little Endermite Endy working away, doing such a good job, just vibing and hanging. But this is beautiful and I hope you enjoyed seeing the full process of this coming together. And we have our little room with our Ender Book, Dragon, and our Void Totem. So thanks for hanging out with me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.